In this video, I'll show you why headless mode is uh, a useful option to use in different situations. I think that headless mode is a very useful mode for shooting videos of different events when you need to have a precise control over the drone and move it in different angles around different objects. And also I think it's a very useful mode to control the drone in bad weather conditions. Uh, because when, for example, there's wind, the drone can rotate around its axis by the force of the wind, not because you are rotating that. And then you lose the feeling of the position of the drone and may not react uh, on time in different uh, critical situations. And also, as the drone is very small, when it flies from a large distance from you, it's very difficult to determine uh, the left or the right side or the front and the rear side of the drone and uh, headless mode in the sense helps you because uh, headless mode is looking at your position and the position of the drone and moves the drone accordingly so now I turn on the headless mode and you will see what I'm talking about by looking at what kind of movements the drone does in the headless mode example I wasn't able to perform very uh, mild movements around the bear because as you can see there's very little space between the walls and the bear and the sofa but you can imagine that how difficult it would be to control the drone in a regular mode in such a small space so when you are shooting an event you will have more space in the air you will be able to do really nice motions uh, like ideally the perfect movement of the drone would be like now I'm moving the camera it should go like around like this but as I in this example had a, to be very careful not to crash the drone into the walls I wasn't able to perform that kind of perfect perfect movement but on the open space you will be able to do that and the headless mode helps in that the only disadvantage of headless mode is that you always need to keep your drone in front of you. But if you're shooting an event, then it's okay actually, because what you will be shooting actually will be in front of you all the time. And then if you need to change the position and start shooting the event from a different perspective, you need to land the drone, turn on the propellers. Let's say we're moving to a different perspective. Position yourself correctly and with the drone in front of you, looking this way, and then you can turn on the propellers again and start manipulating the drone again.